Hey, uh, welcome back, guys. So, I would like to get some better looking topology and refinement for the hat. So, let's get to it. So, I'm going to duplicate this first, duplicate this art piece. Let me first add every other out in, <coughs> in here for now. So, I want to just focus solely on the art. Probably get this somewhere around here. Okay. Maybe the center should be a better place to put this. Alright, so let's duplicate this. Turn this off. Uh, so is there, there is a lower sub there's a lower subdivision level to this that's fine no this topology is really bad though at least for the top parts for the sides that would work though i'm not really using animate i'm not really animating this i'm not actually animating this so i think i can get away with yeah, I believe I can get away with certain things since I'm not really animating this. So let's get started. So I'm just going to control shift. Max out these parts. Rather hide that part. Hide this red part, this red poly group also. Invert this. So we just have this thin flat surface to this. Which is more or less, which is more or less what we want. Yeah, it's more or less what we want. So I'm just, I'm going to do delete it then. I'll do delete it then. Modify topology, delete it then. So this is what we're going to be working with. Yeah, I think this should work for the most part. Okay. Mm, I don't think I might need to do. Oh, I might just need to retopologize this probably. So some of this detailing here, I can easily add that inside of Surface Painter. But yeah, anyway, I think I'll think I'll add it in Surface Painter instead. All right. So let's get this hole in here. For the whole, the whole for the hearts. Like so, with the move brush, I want to move this down so I know where this is, so I can actually mark <coughs> mark that out from the from this part. Yeah, we can do this a few ways. We can let's see if I can use the first. Let's delete I on the subdivision level. So let me see if I can use the Z modeler brush. I'm gonna get a loop selection around this. Let me get a loop selection around this if if possibly. So B Z M. I think what I need is this loop. Okay, this loop should be better. Let me show I'm on, on the right spot around here. Can I get a loop, a loop, 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 fully loop? A poly loop and poly group. Shouldn't be a single. Why can't I turn that off? Hmm. 
you know, something is perfect. Yeah, yeah, this is precisely what I want. So the next thing I'm going to do is to select this, rather select this. Then I'm do a, I'll do an auto group in here. The area that thing we can just manually move. I'll do auto fully group auto group. Yeah, something like this. Select this, invert that, and I can easily delete that. Uh, delete, 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 geometry, delete, hidden. Yeah, I know, right? I'm supposed to have like most of the shortcut around my layout, but I'm, aware, I'm already used to working with the default layer and then going to the menus and then selecting what I need. I'm sure that's a slower way to work, but what can I say? I'm already used to it. So I'm not going to do. I need to hide this. I'll just need to do because I can see how I you know. I'm seeing how I push this out. Probably I don't want that to be pushed out. So I'm just going to do go to deformation and do like. I believe we should pull it by feature. Uh, that doesn't seem to be doing much. Let's try pull it by group. Polish. Yeah, better. Polish keeps S. Polish creep creeps edge works just fine for that. Then let's give this one single poly group. One single poly group will work for this. The next thing we need to do is to max this. So let's bring with the move brush, let's get this at an angle like so. Yeah, I see something like this. Is there a way I can bridge? Uh, it should probably be a way to bridge these edges and then make it one single piece. Not a seem not really not very familiar with Z model, but I can easily do this in my uh, this I can easily do in my uh, bring this back in. So with the move brush, let's pull this out. Let's get this out like so. Let's see if I can actually do this inside of. Let's see if we can actually can actually bridge this. Let's see if I can actually bridge this. Now to select the edge, the edge particular about. Let's see. Let's see if there's a way I can bridge this edge within model. Like if I can't figure it out, then I'm just going to use. I will just have to use. I just have to use um Maya instead to do that. Okay, so B Z uh, M. I'm not even sure which part love mode I should be if it's face mode or edge mode. Okay. Typically it's supposed to be on edge mode. It's kind of bridge this so uh bridge 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 okay bridge edges 
Uh, uh, I'm not sure I'm doing this correctly. Oh, move the let's move the max first. Let's see if I actually did that. Did I? I guess not. Yeah, this is weak. No. So it's, it's definitely way easier on in Maya. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure I'm doing this correctly. Let me get the close up view on here. Okay. Okay, is there a way to do this quickly all at once? But this looks this looks counterproductive. This is just doing this one step at a time. Ah, uh, this is gonna take a long time. Is there a way to do this as a single loop? No. No. Take this down some more. Uh, I'm going to do this all over. This is going to take a really long time. I don't know if there's a way to just do this quickly all at once. How much have I done? Great. Oh, yes, cool. Symmetry, awesome. So I think we can carry on since we are working since we are working symmetrically on this. Cool. That should make things a bit faster for us. I know, right? Boring process. Wrong place. Wrong place again. Should probably even use a much smaller brush size. Nope. 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 Let's get a closer view on there. Let's hope this. This is really uh, great. Then that's all wrong. This is always the faster way to do this. First, it would have been in Maya. Just select the entire edge loop and then. Did I do that correct? Did I do that correctly? Yes. So I don't. I'm not. I don't want to really go to go use another software. So that's why I'm just trying to see if I can do the you no. Know, Okay. We have a triangle in there, guys. We have a triangle in there. Not too sure if that will make or break my model, but 
since I'm not really animating this, I think that will be just fine. Oh, you can always go and then you guys can always go and then what's it called again? Zero merge, this zero merge. This maybe when I'm done making all of this, I can I can probably do a zero merge for it. Probably, probably. Let's just carry on with this. Nope. Yeah, this is a long boring process, but let's just get this I'm doing this wrong, I guess so. No. Great. I doing that correctly, I guess not. Getting the getting the angle is just it's just so annoying. Well, finally. I can skip this part. I can just. I think let me just. I don't want to. No. I don't want to hide any parts of this. Probably should sure is the faster way of doing this, which I don't know of. But let me just carry on like this. I think I'll probably end up. I'll probably end up. Doing a zero match for this. Yeah, yeah, it's looking. You need to look really messed up on that edge. I'm not sure if Polish script edge would work. Yeah, no, right. I definitely first ways of <coughs> first <coughs> first ways of doing this. Probably we should use the faster route to do this. Get this like so. Nah, I think this is just going to be a long boring process. I think I'm just going to use a faster route. Uh, I'm trying to avoid using these bots. Maybe. I just you just have different ideas in your head and you're trying to figure out the right one to use. You just have like a clustered, clustered, clustered mindset of different ideas to use to fix this. Okay, I think I'm going, to, I'm going to use the lazy way out. I'm going to use the lazy way out. So, first, let me duplicate this. I don't lose this. Let me use the let me use the lazy way out instead. Should I use the lazy way out? So I'm going to control click, control click, invert. No, no, I'm supposed to be on this instead. 
just beyond this instead. I just beyond the original and not the and not the duplicated version. So let me use the lazy way out instead. In fact, this. I don't want to bother too much about the topology because I'm not really going to be animating this. But if you want to animate this, that's completely fine. You can go and get better topology on top of this. That's completely fine. So I'll do a delete hidden. Delete hidden for this. So there are a few things I would like to experiment with this. A few things I would like to experiment with this. <clears throat> First, let me do a cut out. You can see that this part here looks like a separate piece from this piece here. I like to separate out this piece, so I'm just going to use the same method we used to kind of create this hole. So where should that be? I think I would use around figure out parts you use. I think I use around the uh, so B Z M No Probably I'm doing this from the wrong angle. Why? Come on now. Why am I getting this weird? No, the other way. Oh, great. Oh, finally. Ah, uh, crap. Messed up. You have this weird result now. Ah, almost great. Ah, come on. I don't know what I'm missing. Oh crap. Let me just do that and I'll come back. So finally I have something. So do like an auto group here. Give them the same poly group. And do a Polish Crips Edge for this. Yeah, much better. So turn on symmetry now. Let's see how this is.
Oh, it's supposed to be like an entire piece of his own. So I need to select this, mark this out. No. So so to split it in. Okay. Scratch this down. Raise it up like so. Then this piece with the move brush, let's get this in place. <clears throat> so we see metric on um, I'm just going to basically just raise this up a bit higher. Yeah, something pretty get this down up a bit more something pretty something pretty much like so should be fine so basically just try to you know, basically just using the lazy way out if you want a fast way you can always rematch this that's completely fine then i need to get most of this on that part is not going to be entirely visible so let me just get this up oh. I'm going to add thickness to this so it shouldn't be too visible Uh, let's get this closer. So basically, the thickness of of the other art is just going to cover it. Okay. I want to be sure if I'm doing this correctly. Okay, something like this should be fine. All right, I think this should work. So the next thing is just to add thickness around this. Oh yeah, yeah. Before before we do before we do, I would like to have uh, like to duplicate this. <clears throat> Sync. <clears throat> Not really sure. I think I'll figure that one out later. Let me just I think this should be fine for now. I will need this piece, so let me do a duplicate again for this part. Drag this up here, hide that for now. Let's give this some thickness. So I'll go to the Edge loop, panel loop, polish, take this down, take down bevel. How do I want this elevated? Yes. Yeah, I want this elevated. <clears throat> so I would loop. So should be fine. Panel loop. Uh, 
let's see I think this is looking fine yes like I said this is just lazy way out but we still need to fix some things later on though but I think this thickness should be just fine yeah this thickness should be just fine so what I'm going to do is to wait a minute if I subdivide this yeah that should be fine so what I'm going to do now is just going to do an auto group and just hide this extra edge loop we have in there just make the single poly group so auto group like so so now I can select this mark this out <clears throat> So you can see now I can just easily push this in. So it just sits. So it just sits inside of it. Okay. Not too much though. You want this? You want it? You want the thickness to kind of overlap on top of themselves. Or more or less like overlaying them on top of themselves. Something like this, just like from it, like a lazy way out. It's just a lazy way out that will still that will still work just fine. So basically, overlaying overlaying the thickness on top of themselves. Something like this should be fine. So something pretty much like so. So this top this topology is actually is actually good enough to use. So this is just one sheet one sheet way or more or less like a lazy way of doing it. Then this top part we need some thickness with this top part also. But first first let us push this closer closer to it. Like so. A bit closer. So the, the thickness kind of touches themselves. Yeah, something pretty, pretty, pretty much like this. Like this should be fine. Let me select this. Probably raise this part out a bit more, then get this down like so. Yeah, something like that should be fine. Okay, something like that. When we have a more subdivision level to it, it should look, it should look better. So I think something like. Uh, this seems fine then we can the standard brush create an indentation here also don't know if that feels too aggressive that feels too aggressive take down the smooth intensity and then smooth that down this is not too intense okay Probably when we subdivide this, we should have something better. <clears throat> but for now, let's keep working on this. So on top of this now, we're going to add some thickness to this. The thickness for this will be inwards, not outwards. So get this down, get this down. So elevation should be on the negative. Get this down. 
think two should be fine here. Yeah, then final loop. Yeah, something pretty much like it should be fine. Yeah, something like that should be fine. All right, so like so. <clears throat> Okay, getting something so no, but I see a few things. I see a few things we need to do in here, like like this band and then this coin, coin ish something that's around there. Yeah, that's what we need to do. It shouldn't be too much of an issue though so let's let's carry on first of all let's just get this a, an edge around this so to get an edge around that we need to revert back to where is it should be yeah this piece so it this part doesn't have any there's no thickness to it So we need to use this. I would mark this out. The under edge function frame edge. So I'm using the frame edge for this. Then I don't know the brush size. Let's take down the brush size. Let's see the distance for this. Yeah, this will be fine. So a brush size of 22 should, should be fine. We'll see. Then I'm going to use the curve brush. It's supposed to be this curve, this curve strap. Should be the curve strap now, I believe. The curve strap. Then click on the edge. I'm just figure out how thick that is. Okay. Nah, too thick. Too thick. So I'll use the brush size. Yeah, this seems like the. This seems like the perfect size for it. I can probably even leave this too. Might even use this too. Just to have an extra layer to it. So that should be. That should make. That should make a better. That should make better sense. I can use this too. So I'm going to come into the stroke, 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 stroke. Uh, delete curve. Split or maxed. Turn off solo mode. Huh. Yeah, so now it's perfectly in there. Precisely the way we want it to. The one thing I'm not too sure because there's no edge to it, there's no edge to it. So let's try and uh, let's add one subdivision level to it and let's see how well that works. Okay, yeah, it works just nice. Yeah, that will work just fine. Yeah, yeah that will work just fine. Yeah, that's the thick man. Yeah, that will work just fine. Hmm. So it's just in the right place. Undo that. I think this particular one. I would like to raise that up a bit higher. I like this to be more visible around here instead. I want this to be more visible here. I don't know if I raise. I think I raised that way too high. Something like this. So let's subdivide this again. Let's subdivide. Okay. Undo the max. Let's subdivide this again. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I think this should. This should be fine. 
yeah yeah this should be fine i believe probably let me raise it up a bit more let me raise it up a bit more let's see i wait too much Let's see. I don't. I don't want to be floating though. Uh, now it's floating. I think this seems like a good place to have that. Yeah, that seems like a good place to have that. So, <clears throat> uh, take this down. Uh. I can see an issue around. No, why is it? Something doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right. Yeah, that doesn't look right. I'm losing. I think I must have tampered with this, with this somehow. Maybe not. Let me inflate. Let me inflate this. Looks good on the. Uh, let me just inflate this. Let's see. Uh, deformation. Let's see if inflating that fixes it. Okay. Subdivide this. Mm, so trying to decide if this would work just fine or not. No, no. I'm undoing the inflates. Think better still. I will just select this mesh. It's hidden. Better still, I will just select this mesh and then use the move brush. Use the move brush and then move this down some more. Yes, move this in. Let's move this down some more. Shouldn't be shouldn't be poking out. It should just rest. Wait, hold up. If I subdivide this, if I subdivide this, will this will this hide in there? No, it's not in there. Let me just push this in. Yeah, this is just the clean up and refinement to just get this to look right. You can see Z rising. Get this in. Yeah, it is just the 
refinement that takes a bit of time to kind of do and get right. Oh crap, I suppose we're saving this. Let me save this first. Okay. I'm seeing like an extra edge to this. It's like an extra edge. There's an extra it's an extra edge I'm seeing. Some weird extra edge. Let me uh do an auto group. Oh, I can imagine. Uh two extra edges in there. So we just need to delete one. So I'm going to select that select that then we we'll delete it then delete modify topology delete it then oh I think i deleted it I think I may have deleted the wrong one. May have deleted the wrong one. Uh, that's fine. Let's just redo this. That's fine. Let's just pass. Part of the tax, and then we should be good. Well, I'm having an issue there. Let's see. Uh, let me solo this first. So a way of fixing this would be to be to delete an edge. Let's delete an edge for this. So B Z M. So I'll delete. Uh, delete. Edge completes. Oh, delete subdivision level. I'll delete that edge. Uh, let's subdivide this. Undo that. Delete this edge. Delete this edge. Subdivide this. Just to make that edge a bit flatter. And let's bring everything back out. Okay. Remove brush. Cement return on. Yes. Just tiny bits of refinement we have to do to make it look right. You can completely ignore that if you want to, but. I would like to get it to look right because I want everything to look perfect or at least close enough to being perfect smooth this out smooth this out Let's keep pushing and pulling. Yeah, we'll fix that later. Let's just get this in first.
Okay. Uh, yes, so now any other parts? No, no, smooth this out. Smooth. Smooth. Get this in. Get this in. Okay. Smooth house, smooth house. Oof, finally. So that's that's one part of this. Yeah, so that's one part of this. Very quick save. Okay. And this is another part, so let's see how fast we can do this. So we're just going to revert back to I believe yes is this piece again. We'll do okay, I'm going to duplicate that now. So load this out so So we have this somewhere around the uh, close to the base. <clears throat> so it's quite close to the base. Close to the base. Let's see. Let's see. Let's put this around the uh, around the uh, should be fine. Okay, if I put this around here, then we're going to have something. That goes like so. If I put it around here, have something that goes like so. Uh, okay. I think here should be good. So, BZM. Great. This again. Can't I just get this for the first try? Great. Ah, perfect. Finally. Whew, finally. The one, what I'm going to do is to isolate this and I'm going to do a come in here what should I even do? do not, let's see border frame border B Figure out how wide this should be. I think this size should be fine. Maybe a little bit bigger on the brush size. Okay. No. B C shrap. Ah, directionality is all wrong. Direction is wrong. Direction. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, no, no, no. Not perfect yet.
and no, I think I can, I can actually make this work. Yeah, I can actually make this work. Yes, I can make this work. Just need to make this is a bigger bro size. I have an idea. Yes, can actually make this work so something like that should be fine for now. And I will delete edge split on max points. Go out of solo mode. This is our new piece. Let's solo out this new piece. Yeah, I know it looks messed up, but we'll fix it. We just need think just this just this just just this should be fine. Then we'll do it delete hidden. Delete hidden. Yes, the next thing we're going to do is to go out of symmetry. Center great. Out of symmetry, where is it? This piece shrink this in like so, somewhere around here, somewhere around. Somewhere around the uh, scale this out even more like so. Mm, I don't know if it's perfectly or oh, perfectly perfectly bounded to it. I think a better way to do this would be to use the inflate. But not yet. So for this now, what I'm going to what I'm going to do is to come into polygroup. On that polygroup, I would use group by normal. Uh, group by normal. Group by normal. How many of these do we have? Feels like ish. Turn this dot off. Let's see. Now nah, this is messed up. Is it? Okay, I guess not. Hide this. First, let's do another duplicate of this. Of this piece. So this is. This is what we need. This is like entirely what I need. And I'm going to do delete hidden. Delete hidden. Go out, go out of solo mode. Yeah, this is basically everything I need. But let me hide this. Hide this <clears throat> for now. Select this. Let us work with this. Turn on symmetry for this. Yes, symmetry is turned on. Mm. Then we'll move large chunks of this. Try and get this to look straight. I'm sure you guys are really getting the idea already. Getting this to look somewhat straight. Smoothing this out is not even working. Probably because we have polygon that is too low. I 
we get this house so now let's use the the formations tab polish by group polish by group again so kind of rounding this up make it make it a bit rounded and probably proportional on the height let's pick some sense Yeah, this one needs to push back in like so okay so how do we increase the eye that's the next question and the next question will be how do i increase the eye let's try the inflate let's see what that does nope nope yeah this is definitely working though those that means we still need to make some more correction to this by moving and pushing since mm -mm. except if my to this except if i grab no the max lasso Max loss. So if I max out the lower parts, everything that has to do with the lower parts, yes, pretty much something like this, and increase the height. Trying to figure out how high that is, though. Okay, that's that's way too high. So let's get this somewhere around here. Yes, yeah, somewhere around there should be fine. So I think this is a better way to do it. Let's see if we can do polish by group again. Yes, that looks fine. That would work. I said we still need to do some a bit more pushing and pulling later on. Just to get this to sit on the surface even more. Maybe I should just sink. Symmetric on, yeah, symmetric on. I think I'll just get all of this inside instead. To get this in. Yeah, no, right? So, the correction to be made. It is what it is. Don't really have enough topology to work with on this. So, let's subdivide this. Subdividing that at least shrunk that down way too much than we need it soon. Yeah, I think the best tool to use for this is the move topological brush too. So that will actually pick it. Pick it on the region where we want this to pick it at. Probably not. Have a better idea. Let's hope that works. Let's see if we can shrink this. Nah. Nope, definitely not. I guess we just have to use the move. Should be a better way to do this. Rather, a more faster way to do this instead of 
pushing this one by one Okay, let's just let's just carry on with that. Shouldn't take us too much time to do. Good. No. No, the smaller board size to this. I think I need to add an edge loop. Then start edge loop in the middle part like so okay I have another idea yeah, something like this uh, giving it some I don't want this to have any height to it I just giving it extra level of height. Great. I want to give the top parts a separate poly group. Let's see if I can bend that closer. Yes, better. Okay, let's see if we can actually use this now. Yes, better. Yes, yes, that's a better way to go. That's definitely a better way to go. Let me just use the move this in like so. Yeah, this should be this should be fine. For it by group again. Yeah, better. So now we can. Uh, edge loop. Take this down. Take this down. I think three should be fine. Panel loop. Panel loop. Subdivide this. No, undo that. Oh, undo that. Undo that. It's supposed to have the same poly group, rather. It's supposed to have the same poly group. Very important. So, panel loop now. Subdivide this. Undo the subdivision layer. That's fine. I think now we can. I think now we can use the move brush and then elevate this out a bit more. I 
in this lower part should still sit close to it. Yeah, no, I'm making a lot of refinement on this to get this right. Probably there's a faster way of doing this, but let me just carry on with this since I'm almost done. Take down the size of the brush. No, this is definitely taking a lot of time. This small object taking a lot of time. Crap. If you guys have a fast type of genie, that's completely fine. You can just do that. Get this in. Okay. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I think we're coming to an agreement now. Tiny, tiny, annoying corrections just to make this look great. Yeesh. Sure, did take a lot of our time. Okay, let's subdivide this. Let's see what we have subdividing this. Okay. See some minute correction to make to this. Definitely gets in there, no doubt. Ah, great. Let's subdivide this again. Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have something. Yep, ladies and gentlemen, we've got something. Yes, yes, finally. Mm. I want to get this up a bit higher. Turn on symmetry for this. I want this to be slightly visible, like so. Okay. All right. Mm. 
No. 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 Yes. Whew. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I thought I was going to say we're done. No, we're not now, obviously. So it doesn't mean this piece. This coin piece. Uh, bro. Sure, this spend a lot of time in here. Let's see if we can get an IMM brush that will just help us and do that. Just stamp that, stamp that in quickly. I doubt though. Doubt if. If we can have something that we can just stamp right in there. It's, you can actually do that in. You know that's it. We can actually stamp it. We stamp the detail. That's coin detail in Sultan's Painter. But at least we need something that we can just put in the. Oh, why is all of this looking really weird? So I can't really find something that is close enough. Really? I mean, just a simple coin shape. A simple coin shape. Come on. Really? We got to get a simple coin shape out of this. Why is all of it? Can't even get a simple coin shape out of this. This one seems close enough. But there is a, there is a hole in there. Uh, this. You can use this as placeholder. Ah, like those O's, there are O's in there. You draw that again, let's swap them. Uh, I don't know if this will work though. Too much edge to it. Yeah, I think this will be a better one. This is a bit. This is probably the best one we could find and that should work so let's see the, let's even see the topology yes the topology seems fine so let's do on split on max points i uh, don't need that anymore so select this can actually redraw first we will draw that in the other parts Uh, uh, how many of these do we have? Do we even have? Okay. Okay. Squash this down. Something like so. No. Sit this around here. It's supposed to be even be bigger, slightly bigger. So, like so. Yeah, something like that. Just sits there. Should be fine. <clears throat> What I'm going to do now is to duplicate this. I'll, I'll make this later on. Let me duplicate this because the reason why I'm duplicating this is because I'm still going to 
mirror this to the other side and I don't want this to affect the center part since it's like in the center of the entire mesh so I would just get this out it's around you yeah it should be fine get this down select this hide this Side that for now. Yes. Pam 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 like so. Get this in. So we are going to make some more shape adjustments with this. I want to be sure if it's actually, if it's actually touching it. Yeah, it just needs to sit on it like so. Yeah, I think that should be fine. Then hold control and then hold control and push this out all the way here. Let's get that in place. So let's get this sitting on it. Okay. Put this in some more, like that should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Then this center piece, I'm going to let's get this like so, and I will hold control and drag this all the way to the back. Reverse this like so. Rotate. Rotate, 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 no, wrong rotation, uh, wrong rotation, yeah, like so, sits, it should just sit right there, like so, <clears throat> yeah, that's fine, then, uh, I'll select this duplicate, I'm just going to do a mirror for this, so mirror this to the other side, Mirror, 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 mirror on the wall. Mirror, mirror on the wall. This is the first of them all. Mirror is the other side. Perfect. I guess. Uh, is there something else? I hope not. Ah, something at the back which we would completely ignore. Completely ignore that. Okay. Huh? Or is this? Why do I, I keep getting this same issue? I've done, I've done this before already now. Why am I getting the same issue? I've done this already. Oh, I might do this again. I've done this already now. But not doing this again somewhere else. I hope not. Great. I 
it will make sure there are no gaps in between. Turn on transparency for this. Trying to make sure there are no gaps in between. Oh, finally. So yeah, let's think we need to merge. Let's merge what needs to be merged. So take this down. Let's first make put this at the lowest subdivision level. Delete higher. The lowest is just way too low. So this is a good one. Delete lower. Delete higher. Okay. Now let's shoot this down. So hold shift and click on this move down. So that will shoot this down to the bottom. Hold shift and sh shoot this down to the bottom. Same with this. Same with this. So we have the top. We have this. We have this. We have this. So now let's merge them all. Merge down. Mesh down, mesh down. So we have all of this now as a single piece, which is more or less, which is more or less, <coughs> more or less precisely what we want. Okay. All right. So we should subdivide this now. We should be having one complete piece to work with. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I need to merge this also. This together with this, so merge down. Name this to Heart Coin. Uh, and put this down here. <laughs> yeah. Shoot everything that's hidden upwards, apart from the main body, though. Okay, we can just just three parts so select this hold shift shoot it down minuscules shoot it down i shoot it down okay so this is the let me bring everything back out so we need to rename this to name this to heart okay i feel like uh no no this looks messed up on this side <laughs> it looks messed up on this side yeah we need to start fixing But let's go to the lower subdivision level and just do auto group for this. Auto group. Go to lower subdivision level. The move brush. Smash it on. Probably won't duplicate this. Get this up. Begin to make adjustments. Okay. Okay, I think the add for that will be fine. Invert this. I think it's this I need to bring down. Mm. 
Okay. Yeah, I should have just created most of this. Change this down. They are not the best, but they should work. What is this? Aish. Okay. The other things I can just manually adjust by myself, so I won't be doing that. Yeah. 